power of Christ in both his hands to unite his fellow man. He was soft when he was young, but now he sees. Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome. So welcome to the program. We're going to just jump right into the calls. Um, I have a third cousin who actually, I think, faced you in one of the earlier rounds. And okay. said you were just a formidable foe. Well, I train hard, and I am hard, so... You know, it's, it's, uh, I really, I'm very competitive when it comes to uh, martial arts. You thought it was an interesting technique that you seem to really strike at his penis and try to stick a finger in his bum. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the program on um, uh, uh, Jesus uh, Arc Show. Hello. Hi. Welcome to, Hi. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm really sorry for that last caller. Yeah, um, don't worry. It's okay. Um, these things happen, but how, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty fucking good. How about you? Okay. We have 25 more minutes. That's okay. We're going to have to just plow through some of this. Um, Hello, Richard. How are you doing tonight? Well, I'm off to a fantastic start. We got a little bit of um, rough, rough talk going, unfortunately, due to the uh, we don't have call screening in place tonight. So, and there's yeah, some unfortunate I'm so sorry language. to hear that, man. Yeah. I just wanted to see if I could get a couple prayers um, with the uh, with the veggie food truck going and uh, mm -hmm. the dissolution of the Michael Vick Christian Dog Fighting League. I was wondering, it was created a couple couple holes in my heart, and I was wondering, will you fill my hole? Okay. Hello, caller. You're you're live on the air. Welcome to the Ark. Um. Hey, Richard. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, how are you, man? Well, we're up against some um, challenging technical problems today, and some of the language that's making it on the show. But I'm not going to let that hold back my spirit. I'm going to fight through it, just like in MMA, because you know sometimes people call and do prank. You know, like. I don't know why they just don't watch another show, go to do, watch Dexter or something like that, but they decide to call here and do prank, and we don't, we don't appreciate that thing. But Absolutely. Yeah. I would actually like to say a quick prayer. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'd, love, I'd love to have a prayer. Yeah, do you think you could maybe just bow your head? Of course. Everybody in the chat, bow your head. Sure. Um, dear Lord, fuck you, Richard. You can't stop me. You can't stop. You can't stop us. We're stronger. We are stronger than all of you. And for every call like that, we save ten. So, hello, caller. You're live on the program. Welcome to the show. Hello, Richard. You want to know something very, very cool? Uh, you sure. Yeah. Yes. I shoved a whole jar of curry up my ass, and it feels really, really good. You know, I knew, I knew that. I knew that would happen. When I saw the number, it had, it had, a, it had three sixes in the number. So I should have known. These joke callers are just harassing you, man. You're trying to do a great show, and it's, they're just spinning all over you. You know, it's, it's sad. It's really quite sad that this is the op their opportunity to better themselves, that I can better them, and instead they use it their, this time, my time and our time to do prank. The prank is just uncalled for, malicious. Did you have uh, anything else I could offer you advice with, or are you just offering me support? Support, and I have a question. Oh, I, of course. <laughs> You're supporting me. I could support you. All right. Do you have Battletoads? Okay, well, that Bible was written a very, you know, I'll try to, I'll try and explain it, explain it to you in a way that you can understand. Um, that that Bible was is. I would like to bring some positivity into this stream for all the pranksters who could really use some enlightening, and I'd like to share my top Bible verse with you. Oh, that'd be fun. I think we need it. I think we need it's it right cool. now. There's a whole lot of prank 
being made and I'm not appreciating any of it. And I don't think I dis- anyone at home is either. I am disgusted with the prank, I agree. And it is a quick Bible verse, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but I'll have a long, dangly foreskin. Um, glad to have you on the show. Things are going off to a little bumpy start, but I have, a, I have a good feeling about this call, and things are about to turn around. Definitely. I've, 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 definitely, I've tried talking to you for so long now. I'm well, so happy I got through it. You, you you got me. I'm all yours. Well, okay. So, Richard, mm-hmm. you're a stupid bitch. I said we needed Casey. We need somebody screening these calls. Because this is... Well, it's getting on the... They're going on the air, Chad. Oh. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh. That, that's going on the air, Chad. Uh, this is Richard Burnish. Uh, you're on the ark. Can, I, can we do a prayer? Sure, sure. Would you like to lead us, or would you looking to me to lead? Yes. Oh, go ahead. I'd love I, to lead you. Okay, go ahead. I think far we, ahead. Let's do it. Okay. Nigger. Welcome to the show. Richard, I have something important to tell you. Oh, sure. What can I uh, help you with? You know what? I'm not going to... That doesn't upset me. That was that had a good beat. It had a good, it had a good vibe. I was feeling that. I was feeling that. So that's not even, that's not even upsetting me, so... I've been through the ringer today, caller. Uh, we stepped in. To f- yeah. There was an accident yeah. with the with the network today. The mobile veggie truck had an incident. We had to fill the slot, and and since then it's been mm. nonstop prank. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's 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 yeah. very challenging. I'm trying to reach yeah. these people. We're yeah. trying to save lives here, and then people are using it for prank. You're looking really hard, Richard. See, this is this is MMA training. The the old Richard looked like a bag of a bag of milk. But I'm hard now, you know. I've been training and I've been working out. I can. You don't want to. You don't want to enter the into the ring with right. me anymore. Well, Richard, um, it's it's funny that, that you're you're hard right now. My 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 life has been thrown into a bit of disarray, um, and I, I feel I feel soft. I've been married to a lovely, lovely woman for God. It's been twenty years, Richard. And the issue is that I feel like my wife has has gone soft too. Uh, she just had a kid. Her cravings during pregnancy were were primarily ho hos and funyuns, and uh, now that she's had the child, uh, those cravings have not changed, and she's ballooned up to like 215 pounds. Oh and, wow! And I feel like we should have a, a fulfilling sexual life, uh, mm-hmm. but when she when she looks like the Michelin Man with a, a sweater vest on, uh, I, I I I can't. I simply cannot. Uh, you know get hard uh and you know i i i work richard are you okay yeah sorry i was looking at um i i i crossed like ah, i'm okay i'm all right okay okay good richard um yeah so i mean when when she looks like like you know like uh gene simmons in his 70s i i just i i i i I, I can't. I can't make it happen. And the, I, I work. I work in finance, and there's a lot of very, very beautiful women uh, working in in the same the same facility. Uh, I'm I'm in my 50s, and I've taken care of myself. Um, uh, emotionally, I may be soft, but physically, I am very hard. And how do I make myself hard and make my wife less soft? Yeah, that sounds like a, a very difficult situation. You mentioned before that she um, resembled you said the 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 Michigan man. I'm not. I've not seen that the, movie. The, the 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 Michelin man. If you, do, do you drive a car, Richard? <laughs> <clears throat> Richard, you drive a car, <clears throat> yes. Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> hold on. Excuse me, caller. <clears throat> <laughs> I have a cough too. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The, the, sorry. The um, the. the, the <laughs> Well, excuse me, caller. Just give me one second. 
the uh, well, Richard. Richard, do you drive a car? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, yes. I, um, well, I have the a few recreational vehicles, the Ferraris, and I drive a I drive a Kia Sportage, and I hate it. What's yeah. wrong? What's wrong with your What's wrong with your Sportage? Oh, I think my wife damaged the suspension a little bit, but you know that's that's an, that's an, <laughs> that's another story. That... Have you talked to her about it? Have you said? Like, you know, honey, um, you know, I'm, I'm finding myself less attracted to you physically. Uh, reference maybe that movie that you were talking about, The Michigan Man. Um, Tell her about, you maybe know, she could uh, watch it with you and see a little bit more what you're talking about. Richard, do you, do you still use uh, Christ Plug? Because I think you can plug, it's, it's, it's Michelin, uh, not Michigan. And I think you can plug that into the Christ Plugs. You might, you might be able to find, uh, the, the Michelin Man is a mascot who... Uh, is he looks like uh, 15 white tires uh, of different shapes that form a human being. Uh, that's, that's what my wife looks like. Of course, I get him while Richard isn't actually here. Hello, 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 Just, caller. You're, you're live on oh, the... Well, well, I bought 15 copies of your book. For, 15 copies? You know, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of copies. What are you doing with 15? Like, are you sharing them with your family or are they all for you? What's, what's, what's the skinny? Yeah, I've been sharing them with my uh, friends and my family. You know, I've been getting hard, getting hard with my wife, my kids, my boyfriend, my parents, my grand grandma, my friends. You know. Did you say um, your kids, your wife, and her boyfriend? No. My friend. Oh, your your friend. Sorry, I thought you said that you your wife had a boyfriend because we had a call um, about this before, and I didn't know about this practice, but there's oh. this. It's no, some sort no, of alternative no, it's, lifestyle. It's it's. We're, it, I'm glad that you're not doing it. I don't know a lot about yeah. this, but um, we're learning about it. Yeah, it's just, just, that just sounds disgusting. It, it really is. What to say about it? And that's why you know that's why I'm you know modernizing the old Bible to talk about these types of things. That you know when you're asking yourself, should my wife have a boyfriend and should I watch them uh, fornicate? Um, you know, like no, no one should be doing that. Yeah. Hey Richard, I think I know why the veggie truck shut down. Uh, I, I heard about. It. Did you uh, have some insight on this? Did you? I'm sorry. Well, they were fucking each other with cucumbers and zucchinis, Richard. Fucking Richard. I don't know if you're familiar with riding riding the bus with my sister, the Rosie O'Donnell movie. Um, no, I am not familiar with that one. No, I haven't. I haven't watched it uh, myself. They usually just take the portable DVD player and lock themselves in the bathroom. They they live and breathe everything that this film stands for. They claim that it's all things that the that the movie has taught them that Rosie O'Donnell has taught them. Yeah, they're a very specific well, diet. They they live off of uh, hot dogs. There's a moment where Rosie O'Donnell tells the bus driver that she really likes hot dogs. Okay. Sounds very strange. That's like you can't just eat hot dogs. Yeah, sometimes they just they tape the uh, the cardboard roll in the middle of a toilet paper, and they tape that over their mouth, and they just trump around the house saying, "I like hot dogs. I like hot dogs." Okay, that's a joke. You see, and that's the problem with these types of callers. You know, they call up and they, they, they pull on my heartstrings. They sound like they've got some, like a real problem, you know, that they need help, that they need to be saved. I actually believe that that man had a problem with his, with his, with his four foster children, four of them, all 16 years old. I was thinking of them in that instance and what they needed and how I could have helped them or helped him or helped his family. And instead he uses it for that. You know what? This, this time chunk that is normally for the veggie mobile truck, this isn't for us. Because the callers in this period have all just been a bunch of unemployed uh, uh, losers calling into the show, th you know, threatening me, using racisms and all these other types of shit things. One more call. Let's try and end it on a good note. I buy your copy. I buy your, I buy your feast book. 
I buy yes. the prison book. Uh -huh. And I buy and I give away on the street of Dagestan. But policeman, he come up to me. He come up to me. He says, what are you doing? I say, I sell feast book. I sell feasting book. And he says, yes. you sell book about feasting. I say, no, this is Christian feasting book. Yes. Christian feasting. And he take out nightstick. He says, no, you, we, we do Muslim feasting in Dagestan. And he, Richard, eat me. That's disgusting. That's horrible. It's, it is terrible. We, are, we live in dictatorship here. We live in I'm sorry, I forget to speak in English, but it is very hard life here because we cannot feast in way between two men. We don't have freedom of feasting like in America. It is disgusting. Teach me how to feast like muscle American jock. Okay, well, here's, here's what you do. Uh, are you working with like a, a, a whether it's for a heavy bag or a, a speed bag? Um, what you want to do? Son, you, see, you see Habib? Habib trained with bear from six years old. He feasts bear. He feasts bears, that's, young child. Wow. See, that's, that's a whole... I don't know much about that. That sounds like a very um, a, 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 a different style. Um, you, think of it, you think about it like a cake, like layers of a cake, right? You wrap them all around, and it's, and, it's, and it's how to use your knuckles. Using your knuckles is another important thing that you need to do with Christian fisting. Um, and I don't want to give away the whole book, because you got to... You know, everyone's going to have to kind of pay for it to learn um, about that. But that's, that's how you get started. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Richard. Ogromna espasiba. Thank you. Thank you very much from Dagestan. Maybe next time I feast policeman. But uh, I will. I tell you next stay time. Stay hard. Okay? Well, you stay hard yeah, and you keep practicing, hard. okay? I'm hard here. I'm hard for you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> See, and that's what a great way to end the show. A call like that gets in and then, you know, I'm able to share advice. I'm able to teach. I'm able to... Make your lives better. You see, that's why I'm here, everybody. That's why I do this. I do this to make your life better. I do it to improve your life. I don't do this for me. This isn't about me. This is about taking your life, which is here, right? You're, you're here. And I'm up here, right? And I'm reaching my hand down, and I'm lifting you up. So, again, but the most important thing that you need to remember is I can only help you so much. At the end of the day, my words are only words. My prayers are only words. You need action, okay? I'm talking about your money because your money is you. Your money is your blood. It's your sweat. It's your tears. It's your hard work. It's you waking up every morning on the freeway. Okay? That's what I'm asking for. You need to let go of that money and you need to send it to me. Okay? You know, we've got documented cases and evidence of people's lives forever changed. We've seen uh, people with migraines don't have migraines anymore. We have people with, with uh, low white blood cell count, super low blood cells, low white cells. We've seen them, we've seen them rise. Okay, we've seen, we've seen midgets grow. Okay, we've seen arms and legs where growth cells have stopped. They've stopped, and we've seen, we've seen them engage again. We've seen them grow. It's not fake. It's not fake. It's faith. Faith. This is faith. I'm not fake. So again, please remember to donate. That's the most important thing. That's the only takeaway here. Send me your money. We need it. I need it. Stimulus checks. Take the stimulus check challenge. I challenge you to send me your, your, all of your, your stimulus check. If that's what it takes. If that's what it takes to get you into faith. I'm going to do that for you. This has been Richard Burnish. Thank you. God bless. Stay safe. And donate. Mm -hmm. It's not fake. It's faith. This is faith. faith.
devised a simple plan to bring together all the souls around him. In a time of great dismay and of spiritual decay, Richard created TMMA to gain the power, power of Christ in both his hands to unite his fellow man. He was soft when he was young, but now he sees. God will help you understand, so you need to be a man. Don't be weak, just be like God and have a plan. So step out into the yard, spread your arms, let down your guard. Think of Jesus, it's not hard, you're on the ark now. Only some souls will be saved, to the Bing user's dismay. Richard's come to save the day, so for the ark. Neon Bible is the truth, bringing Jesus to the youth. Even adults need some help to hear his call. The Old Testament is old. That's why that word is in bold. It don't talk about our modern world at all. Ten Commandments were okay when they're written in that day. But in our crazy world, we've lost our moral life. Old Bibles only tell of our dated past to hell. It never says thou shalt not plow thy neighbor's wife. So step out into the yard, spread your arms, let down your guard. Think of Jesus, it's not hard, you're on the ark now. Only some souls will be saved, to the wing users dismay. Richard's come to save the day, so for the ark. Step out into the yard, spread your arms, let down your guard. Think of Jesus, it's not hard, you're on the ark now.